Hey, what's going on guys? Um, I'm doing more of these kind of things for social media because I do a show on Mike Lover Actual called Prepared where I have like talking points. And those talking points are very pointed. I do an underground show. Look at these guys here, they're setting up. Jason and Rob are setting up the simulator. That's gonna be awesome. Um, it's talking points, but it's very much focused on the issues. Like tomorrow's uh, prepared, we'll focus on the Secretary of Defense missing in action. I mean, this guy literally ghosted, didn't tell anybody. He told supposedly a person and that person got the flu and the White House had no idea where he was for like four days. Um, if you're a private in the 82nd Airborne Division and you did that, you would probably not fare well in your career. I mean, it just wouldn't look good. So um, some of the things that I'm trying to do is one, I want to do a little bit more uh, breakdown of some of those issues that we're talking about. And I also want to talk to you guys um, about things that I'm doing in real time. And so I, I did this stories channel so I could do that. Um, but also, <laughs> I'm sitting down in my studio. Also, um, I'm being heavily suppressed on Instagram because of my content. Some of my content, which includes preparedness content, is being suppressed on my Prep Yourself channel. And that's unfortunate, but I will double post that content here. Now, the reason I wanted to do this particular video is because a lot of people have asked me questions about stem cell treatment. Um, I just went to CPI in Tijuana, Mexico for five days, which is very hard for, for me to do. I don't think I've taken five days for myself in as long as I can remember. I mean, this is a decade. I can't, I can't even remember the last time I did it. And, and the reason I did is at one point, I mentioned this in the vlog on Wolf 21, um, very specifically, I couldn't pick up my kids when they told me to uppy uppy, to pick them up. And that bummed me out because my back was so wrecked from injury. Eventually that injury caught up with me. I went to the emergency room and had to get replacement disc, four replacement disc, and then C5 got completely cleaned out. But that has been slow going. I inquired about stem cell therapy and said, hey, does anybody know anything about stem cell therapy? Uh, reached out to Evan Hafer who reached out uh, and told me to reach out to Joe Rogan. I reached out to Joe Rogan and he recommended CPI. Um, there's a lot of different institutions in the country and outside the country that do stem cell therapy. I did stem cell years ago, but really don't count it as stem cell because it was so ghetto. It was in Texas, it, the whole pro, I won't even bore you. It just wasn't, it, it, it didn't do anything for me. And, and it, it just didn't seem legit. So the first question I often get is what is stem cell therapy? Stem cell therapy is the building block to repairing all your injuries and all your trauma naturally by introducing stem cell from umbilical cords. Now, you would think like a lot of people freak out when they hear this. They're not harvesting babies. <laughs> like this isn't, this isn't some kind of like underground back alley stuff. This is on the up and up and they do this in the United States. In fact, there's a influencer recently who did a video, I think about a year ago, where he went to Utah in my own backyard in Park City and got the treatment and it cost him about $80,000. And he did his entire back, he did all the, the parts of his body that were injured. Since I've had, you can see this, this uh, gnarly scar right here. Since I've had this injury, or since I've had this repair, I haven't been 100%, I've been far from it. My, the center part of my spine up into my neck is really weak. And I have other injuries that are just ailments I've been dealing with my entire life. My left elbow, my right hamstring, my left foot, the list goes on. So you can get stem cell from the umbilical cord in the United States today. The difference for overseas treatment mainly, and I'm not the expert, this might change as well. Uh, if it does change, or if, if you are the expert, make sure you let me know in the comments. But you can get stem cell therapy outside the country via stem cells that are grown and harvested. So they take a child, 
They get, they extract the stem cells from the umbilical cord. That child grows up, the mom is healthy. They take healthy stem cells and they basically uh, grow them. And then when they grow them and they harvest them, they could utilize them in intravenous treatment or direct in sight treatment. Now there's terminology and nomenclature for all this stuff. Again, I'm not the expert. I'm just a guy on the receiving end of the needle. So when I reached out, I, I wanted this, this therapy. The first thing I did was I wanted to talk to people who've gotten it before. UFC fighters that are friends of mine, uh, jiu-jitsu practitioners, and just everyday people have told me this has changed their life. And I'm always a skeptic until it's pretty legitimate people who are telling me again and again and again that it's, wor it's worked for them. So um, I believe them, but I want to try it for myself. So I'm not advocating for this treatment by any means, by any means necessary. Um, what I'm saying is I am in the beginning stages of this and I'm gonna walk you through it a little bit. One, the Tijuana experience with CPI was amazing. Five days, um, I did NADs, uh, which is a, a, a intravenous treatment um, that breaks down the, the brain barrier. Oh God, I'm messing this up. Like, don't, don't ask me for the expertise on this stuff. I don't blow smoke up your ass. NADs, um, uh, the vitamin drips, all the protocols that you get um, for health and wellness you receive. And then you get your treatment for um, intravenous and in on-site or in-site uh, uh, stem cells. So in my case, I got 10 different injections up and down my C3 to C7 uh, in the flaccid joints, which is the joints uh, of the vertebrae. And then I got uh, IV, uh, so through, through, through an IV, I got the stem cell, and then I got it localized in my left elbow. Now, apparently I got 190 million stem cells. The treatment itself, easy, no issues. Um, actually, I didn't feel a lot of pain at all, which a lot of people complained of being sore and it being a little painful, but it wasn't. But now here, day three after the treatment, I'm hurting pretty bad. Because supposedly all of the inflammation is right now being activated by the stem cell that's treating all the prior trauma in my body. It's why they tell you don't do cold plunge or hot sauna because you're triggering or you're activating the trauma in your body, which is going to cause inflammation. And if you do like cold plunge, it does it through your entire body. And the way your stem cells react naturally and then the influx of stem cells you got in my case 190 million, they start to inflame all the areas of your body that need the treatment or need the care. So in my case, I feel it in my lower abdomen. I feel it in my right hamstring. I feel it all over my body and especially my lower back and my mid back. I could barely walk. It's like I got hit by a train. Now it's not painful per se. It's like the feeling you get after a really hard workout. And it, 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 it's making me more optimistic about the entire situation because I know how my body works and very in tune with it. And I know what happens post recovery. So right now it's the repairing process. I expect after one or two weeks, it kind of um, settling down. And then I still have to recover over the course of eight to 12 weeks. Apparently for eight weeks, I'm gonna say apparently, you can't as a protocol for eight weeks really do anything. And they recommend you do light activity like walking from week eight, uh, weeks eight to 12. Um, I will tell you this, me and Evan talked about this on the airplane on the way home. Right out the gate, let me switch arms, my arm is getting smoked just holding this camera. Um, right out the gate, I felt something. I don't know what that something was. I can't describe to you what that was but I felt like lubricated, which is weird to say like that. I just felt like, I felt like I had no pain and it felt like my body felt good for the first time in its history. I mean, since I could remember, which I can't remember the last time I was 100% healthy because of the military, because of all the stuff that I've done into my entire life. I just felt lubed and I felt good and I felt pain-free. So I don't know if it's the NADs. I don't know if it's the, um, stem cell treatment. I don't know if it's a hyperbaric chamber, all these things they do, but maybe it's a little bit of everything. And the, one of the guys I talked to, um, his, his name was, uh, I'll just call him Stu. 
that was just coming back after his, I believe his 90 day, he said he had issues in the base of his spine, like uh, upper neck, and he's been dealing with those bulging discs and those issues his entire life. And he literally is pain-free and injury-free, doesn't have any of it. And I've heard this over and over and over again, like shoulder tears, elbow uh, tears, ACL, MCL, all the things, and stem cell works. I don't know. I don't think it's. I don't think there's a debate whether or not it does work. I think there's a lot of science that says it is, is it does work. I think the complication is one the price, right? Because it's not available as far as I understand via insurance, but also the controversy of people going overseas. Now, the reason I want to go to Tijuana and go through CPI is one, it was vetted, and a lot of people that I respect uh, said it was really good to go. Um, but also, it's. 30 minutes from the San Diego airport across the border in Tijuana. Look, I expected like third world, like, oh my God, how is this going to be? Everything was perfect. The staff was great. The doctors were great. The food was like some of the best food I've ever, I've ever eaten. And the people were amazing. All the people that were getting the stem cell, the talk about health and wellness, all the pro tips and the stuff they give you. Um, it was amazing. Now it's expensive. It's like 25 grand. Sorry, sorry. It's like 20 grand, something like that. Depending on what you what you get intravenous versus the specific things that you get, there's a menu of options that you can get, and you can get it all. You can get like the stem cell in your face, you can get stem cell in your body injected, uh, you can get mil hundreds of millions. Um, there's a whole bunch of options. One of the reasons I was able to go because, like, people think I drive a Mercedes Sprinter van and and I'm baller rich and it must be nice. Like my company has a Mercedes Sprinter van. I, I don't. I have a payment with my company on that Mercedes Sprint, Sprinter van. Um, I, I honestly couldn't afford it, uh, especially uh, out of pocket. But um, Miracle Hope Foundation, because all my injuries are service related um, and documented because of that, 100% um, uh, service connected, disabled, total and permanent, which means I'm not reevaluated um, based on all the injury. Um, I was able to get a scholarship, which helped a lot. And I'm very appreciative of Miracle Hope Foundation. Um, if you're a veteran, if you're somebody who qualifies for that, I'll leave the links down below so you could look into it as a scholarship. But if you can't afford it, it's worth the investment. So far, it's worth the investment. Even for the things that I got so far, uh, the K3, the NADs and everything else, like so far, so good. I don't know how this turns out, in 60, 90, 120 days, but I'll keep you guys in the loop. Um, it's one of the reasons why I wanna start stories. If you if you kinda like this content, I'll keep doing it. I just like doing it because I don't have a place to kind of talk about these kind of things. Uh, and I get a lot of questions on it, so it's better for me to record it for the masses um, and answer a lot of questions and then try to piecemeal this. Um, I'm gonna be doing a lot of things this year with Phil Craft Survival. That includes stories of survival, like I'm talking about these, this Andes uh, Mountain uh, based on the book Alive, um, which is also based on a book called, I think, Survive or something like that. Um, Alive, and now there's a new movie on Netflix that t tells the story again, which I think is a lot better. Something Society, if you guys know, leave the comments and the link to the Netflix episode. It's a really good series, but about this um, rugby team that crashed in the Andes and they survived for 76 days and they ate each other in 17 days. I will be doing stories of survival for Phil Craft Survival's podcast and a whole bunch of cool stuff with the media guys. It's gonna be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we're gonna be doing survival challenges, all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, the release of our new disaster bag is gonna be uh, through YouTube and activations. Also a lot of content with a whole bunch of different people on the app, the Phil Craft Survival app. Uh, that app, we work really hard to bring together but guys like Josh Noss for communications, for ham radio, uh, Yusuf Badu for situation awareness, which I talk about in my book, Prepared. It's all gonna be some really cool stuff. And I'm gonna use this as a platform for all the behind the scenes. Um, also, a lot of you guys found me doing things about mindset and things that were on my mind. I'll do some of that too. Like I'm writing a book. I got I get, I get a, uh, a book to write um, about primal survival. And I'm going to bring you along on that journey as well. It's something that I'm very passionate about. It's something that I have to do this year. I have a very short period of time to get that done. But because of all your support for prepared, a manual for surviving worst case scenarios, um, I was able to get this next project lined out. 
And you can follow some of those behind the scenes. Like when I go to Papua New Guinea and talk to the tribes uh, there that, that are still hunter, hunter gatherer tribes, it's gonna be so awesome. And I'm looking forward to it with all of you guys. So happy new year guys. Hope that helped. If you like what you heard and the, the feedback, um, make sure you leave your comments and feedback. Uh, and I'll, I'll try my best to answer as many comments as I can below. I'll also find my channels, Mike Glover Actual, um, the Mike Force Podcast as well. Thanks, guys.